What's happening, y'all? It's your boy, Half Fight 100, world's best reaction channel. Today, we just get it. I'm a singer turn rapper, nigga. Real life I be trapping, nigga. Before I lose my life, I rap a nigga. Outline and chalk, yellow tape on the gas. Yeah, you niggas ain't really bad. All my niggas no limit, yeah, we bout to die. I'ma lay a nigga down if a nigga try me. Bang bang, half a gang, y'all know what it is, man. Another day, another motherfucking reaction over here in half a land, man. Appreciate y'all fucking with your boy again. Back fucking with DJ Academics. Uh, I'm chiming in. I'm just tuning in to see what see what he think on what the fuck his boy six nine and went and said and how disrespectful he got. So I'm curious to see. I know y'all curious to see. Uh, I know y'all curious to see also. So shit. Uh, Man, let's get to this shit. Let's see what the fuck is going on because I ain't lying to you. This this nigga is so disrespectful, bro. <laughs> like going through the comments, bro. Like yeah, like like this shit is like yeah, nigga disrespectful. Not in part. Check it, check it out now. The boy's back. Now I'm here to give you some commentary. I know it's just say, oh my god. Of course, you would come back for your boyfriend Sex Nines video, but chill out. Y'all gonna hear the realest video I've given in a while. Watch the whole thing. Now, Six Nine recently has amped up him dissing the deceased rapper King Von. Okay, basically in hopes of getting Lil Durk's attention, and even went as far as sending a picture of the body of King Von laying on a autopsy table, cut open. Okay? Now, he's been on social media saying things like rest in piss to King Von, dissing him all over the place, even on an Instagram Live that was seen by almost half a million people. And people are saying we ain't with it. Six Nine's response? What are y'all talking about? Why y'all acting like I'm the first person to diss the dead? King Von was here dissing the dead. Matter of fact, didn't King Von say... When he die, he about to go beat Tuka up? And don't Lil Dirk say he be smoking on that Tuka back? Why when I say rest in... Man, it's different, bro. It's not your politics. So when it's not your politics, like when you talking all shit, it's like... <sighs> that it is just because, nigga, who you is. Because of who you are, nigga. Like... Yo, 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 background, nigga. You got no motherfucking right to talk about nothing crazy like that, bro. Straight up. He so rest in piss to King Von. Y'all that mad? And then everybody is basically saying, shut the fuck up. We don't want to hear that from you. Now, let's be fair. He has a slight point, but I then get to ask myself, why is this necessary? Because I don't see this actually helping 6 9 in any type of way. And when you see things like this, it seems like more than destructive behavior that could cause violence later if these people run into each other, it sort of seems like self-destructive behavior from 6 9 Listen, this is what's happening if you ask me. And by the way, again, I'm not cool or okay with people dissing the dead. Okay? If you listen... Right, I'm gonna say, wait, if y'all go back and look at the last thing I just said over the last, uh, my last little reaction, I said, I, it, it's, it's, to me, this and the dead ain't cool regardless. Let the dead be dead, regardless of who the fuck it is. Now, I understand some people, like, there's a whole genre of music simply based off of this and dead people. That's understandable. That's motherfucking understandable. But when it ain't your lane, it's different, man. My interview with, with uh, King Von, God rest his soul. I was the person saying, could you please stop this in Tuka? 
Okay? I was happy when I heard Dirk saying he was going to stop calling his ops out by name and dissing them. Right? And I was basically happy when even the likes of Chief Keef told another rapper, yo, chill out. Let's stop dissing people who passed away. This is a bad trend and a bad habit that Chicago drill music made popular and everybody else thought this was the, the epitome and pretty much the heights of demonry. So everybody now disses the dead. To me, when someone dies, the beef is over. You can't beef with somebody when they're not on earth. Okay? What are you doing? Now, if you're still trying to beef with somebody who ain't here, that's something wrong within you. Now, I understand a bit what happens in Chicago. Usually when they're beefing or they're dissing the dead, it's not about the dead person. It's about to it's about them trying to antagonize somebody else who's living because they want to get that person killed too. However, this feels a little different because 6ix9ine and King Von, they ain't from the same blocks. Okay? What I just said. Same thing I just said. They politics. It ain't his politics. So the whole type of the whole the whole wrap around circle of how it come back around. It just you don't got no right. You don't got no right. You don't got no right. You need to be in some church. You need to be in a church somewhere. Thanking God somewhere. You need to be doing something di different, bro. You got motherfuckers life sentences and all kind of crazy time, bro. You walked away free. You're a lucky man. It ain't been touched because your money, is your bag is right. Hey, I can't be mad at your bag being right. I just got to be mad at people that allow you to get your bag right and keep your bag right. Them the people I gotta be mad at. I can't be mad at. I can't be mad at you for having your back right. I gotta be mad at the people for keeping your back right. They weren't shooting at each other. There, there aren't deaths on both sides that people can't forgive. This felt like some rap stuff that you know King Von said some stuff on Instagram Live and Six Nine. You know he was incarcerated or he was snitching at that time, and you know the, he felt like this is his time to respond. It feels like uh, the way you're going hard with this and the dead, like these can't be rap issues. Like these got to be some issues where generations over generations of people have died because of some issues. So you continue to add more disrespect, fuel to the fire because you want to incite more violence. But here's the thing. And this is also why I'm a little confused, right? I'm confused because this time 6 ix trolling feels different. Okay? When 6 ix 9 first came out in 2017, 2018 was the height of the trolling, of course. It used to be mostly lighthearted. Even if he meant to offend someone. See him trolling Juice World, Ludacris, other people. Basically, he would make you laugh at a situation that even if you weren't that knowledgeable about it, you're like, this is just funny. Nowadays. Right. This is true. This, this, this is 100% true. I'm fucking with you. I, I mean, you usually keep it 100, honestly. To me, to me, uh, sometimes your, your opinions be a little judge. Uh, I, mean, I mean, they be kind of like uh, uh, persuaded because... Uh, because of this reason or that reason, but for the most part, you 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 do you, you you keep it a buck. You do you keep it a buck, regardless. It just be from your opinion and your you know and and and, and kind of you know pump your opinion up. You know what I'm saying? And can pit little jokes in there about your opinion, but uh, it should be it be it be pretty factual though, honestly. No lie. It doesn't seem as funny as it seems. Two things. It seems bitter. Basically, a bitter, a bitter reaction because if you don't know, the industry has rejected Six Nine. Lil Durk, who definitely was not in the same league musically, or when it comes to musical music sales, actually, I'll say, as Six Nine in 2018, Lil Durk sells more than uh, Six Nine now. 
the the deck of cards has been reshuffled. No one will playlist him. Basically, people are applying rules to him that he feels are unfair. And rather than try to deal with them diplomatically, try to talk to them, try to med relationships, he's going all in. If you're familiar with poker, going all in means you're putting all your chips on the table. You're betting on one particular hand or one particular strategy to save you. Now, it's either a little bit of bitterness or an attempt to maybe reprove that 6 9 is still that person 2018 without Shotty, without Treyway. He's still that person at his core. Now, again, I think it's the former. When the industry has rejected you, you are trying to showcase their hypocrisy. But I keep saying a lot of things in life, it ain't about who's right. It's about who's liked. Because he continually tries to show, oh, this person did this. Desiree also snitched, but y'all all work with her. Why don't why don't y'all want to work with me? Because I snitched. Nobody cares about that, that clear comparison. People are just saying, well, we just we, we like her, we don't like you. Fuck it. Oh, but 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 King Vaughn used to diss the dead. Dirk disses the dead. Why y'all get mad at me when I do it? Well, well, people like them, they don't like you. Again, some things, it ain't about just calling it as it is. It's about not if you're right, if you're liked. Now, regardless, I'm going to be honest. I don't think this is affecting Dirk with 6 9 talking about Vaughn. Dirk has kind of figured out the his strategy to deal with, with 6 9 Now, answer him. I was just about to say that. Ignore him. Don't even pay him no attention. I'm telling you. Listen, sooner or later, he'll go broke. Pay him no attention. And then uh, I'm not sure who's going to pay for security. <coughs> <coughs> but. <coughs> <coughs> security still got to be paid for. <coughs> Dirk answered him for a while, leveled up with the Drake feature, dropped that famous quotable line, please don't play that little boy in the club, we don't listen to the rats. After that, dropped an album, right? And a deluxe that did pretty well. Now people are looking at Dirk like he's the next up in the street rapper to be mainstream rapper category. And Dirk has almost reshuffled the deck and almost made it seem like he's above talking about 6 9 Also, think about it. Dirk really from Chicago. You, th If you think a rapper dissing uh, King Von is going to get under his skin when his actual cousin, Nooski, died in Chicago and the niggas who lived like two blocks away was dissing him every single goddamn day, if, you, if Dirk could avoid and not fall into those traps, why would he fall into a trap of a rapper who never met King Von? Who didn't really know about it and who yeah. ain't around or came from the places that they came from okay so i kind of get the angle that six times go for i just think it's one that'll never matter because again as i keep telling y'all man in some situations it's better to be liked than to be right the thing is there isn't no objective grading on when someone could be accepted as a snitch and when they can't when people could clown the dead when they can't. It's about if they like you or not. He needs to realize this is 269. They'll never like you. You've never made an attempt to mend relationships. You made an attempt to isolate. And right now you seem radioactive. This was cool and well when the people you weren't dissing could actually stand next to you. But unfortunately, these are the times that nobody wants to stand next to you. And it almost looks like I'm the only one remaining. Let's be very clear. People who run DSPs who make playlists, they don't be beefing with 6 9 They could have just quietly kept playlists in this music. But 6 9 became so radioactive that people started looking at them to say, are you going to still playlist this guy's music? Because if you do, you're part of the problem. Those people had to make a decision that isn't about 6 What did I just say? I just said that. <clears throat> Hitting where it hurt. The motherfucking pocketbook. That's what my mom always told me. You wanna get you wanna get to a nigga? 
Get, 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 nigga, get him where it hurt, nigga. Get his pocketbook, nigga. I don't mean go rob him with no gun. Figure out how to really get to his pockets. Because if you rob a nigga and he could keep, still keep getting money, it don't matter. But if you get that nigga and cut the motherfucking snake off the head, you got him. You got him. <clears throat> My mama. Nice objective grading. It's about self-preservation, career preservation, and also trying to align with what they feel history will fall on. Again, maybe 6 9 enjoys the villain role, but it's one that he has to realize that the people who are not even offended at him, they're also forced to pretty much choose a side because of him, okay? Trying to even the score might make him personally feel good by dissing Dirk. You get me? And you might think, because, you know, his as he says famously, when I was locked up, y'all had a lot to say. What about now? Maybe it makes him feel good personally, but it doesn't help his career. It only puts him further in a corner. Okay? Dirk levitated. He went up ever since y'all started going at each other. If anybody, we could argue that Dirk got the better of the situation because the beef with you helped people to rally behind him to put his career on another pedestal. Again, it looks like he's also the bigger man as well. It just was like, <clears throat> all right, boom. Me and, me and, uh, me and such and such get into it. Me and him get into it. We start going head to head about some shit. He tell, he ended up telling on some shit and becoming not a fucking credible motherfucker to vouch for. <clears throat> People are going to automatically go to his competitor and show them the support that they was wanting to show the other motherfucker just to not support that motherfucker. You get what I'm saying? Just because they went across to went went against the G code. The G code is real. The G code is real. It looks like he's dropping these random quotes. Looks like he's not biting into the beef and he's not making a moment, which now people think that 6ix9ine is desperate for moments. The thing is, Dirk fell for that trap before, but what he learned was he started to ignore it and he started to pedal out music riding off that momentum of that Drake song, Laugh Now, Cry Later, and also paying tribute to Vaughn with that new album. He's out of here. My thing is this. 6 9 is working on a very dangerous hand because I do believe he's all in. And family members, friends, industry players like playlist curators or even blogs or anyone else who has to do with making this big giant wheel turn that's called the industry, who may have been neutral or sympathetic to 6 9 they're now forced to say, damn, what am I going to do? Okay? Now, I've told y'all, 6 9 is my friend. I don't agree with a lot of things he does. But I'm not someone who would then deny someone who is my friend. Everything I say on this video, I've told him, told him, hey, stop going at Dirk. Please stop dissing Vaughn. And if you've noticed, I don't repost, at least on my Instagram, him going at King Vaughn. Okay? However, this is just this plain truth. Maybe he could pull this out. But right now, it seems like 6 9 is at a poker table with a barely decent hand. And he's looking around trying to bluff. And he just pushed all his chips in the middle of the table. And he's going all in. Except everybody's looking at him dead in the face. And they're looking at him like, we know and we've seen you bluff a million times. It's not about to work again. If he pulls it off, maybe he's a genius. Regardless, I don't think he'll ever be liked. And I think... He's okay with being the villain. If he is, we'll see. But I look at it. And of course, he's okay with being the villain. As long as he's getting paid, as long as he's getting money, as long as he's getting supported. But see, 
To be the villain, it means you got to be going to war. And to go to war, you got to have your money right. <clears throat> and if your money ain't right, you losing. And usually the villain has the most money. But if the villain don't got the money, it's hard to be the villain. I say it's a very dangerous, stressful, and I don't know if it's rewarding enough to handle. We will see. Get in the comments. If you guys like, definitely subscribe. What do you guys think about this video? What do you think about him Bond? We got a couple more six dime videos to come, but I think this one needed to be done in the style of let's uh, let's really analyze his approach. Let's analyze his approach, whether you agree with this particular move to this Vaughn. Let's just analyze the approach. You guys let me know in the comment section. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And by the way, please don't start with the childish, retarded. Yo, he's switching on 6 9 That's my guy. I give him advice every day. I hope he, you know, I want him to do better. Like, I, I'm not going to encourage you're giving that nigga advice. Hopefully, that nigga start taking some of it. Hopefully, you ain't the nigga advising him to do this bullshit and then acting like it ain't you. Now, I'm fucking with you, Ak. I know that. I know. That, I know. That, I know that's not your person, man. I'm, I'm giving you a hard time, but uh, man, this shit. Oh man, someone to their failure or demise. And if I see someone, you know, maybe not doing some of the things that I think is you know, um, of the benefit of them, I'm going to speak out on it, okay? And I'm not going to say everything he's done since he's gotten released has been negative, but recently, it does look like he's going all in, all right? You guys can comment my you guys like them, subscribe to more academics. Oh! At this shoot, it was a fight. When these the same niggas that rap, ain't no fair ones going to shoot. Right or wrong? Exit. That's Yo, bad. play that, play the cap rap. When I mean cap, mother, I drop that right now if I'm lying. King Bond said, when I die, my niggas gonna slide every day. Yeah. Am I lying? Nah, what's that? I don't know what song is that. King Bond oh, yeah. said, when I die, my niggas is gonna slide every day. Cat, nigga. That shit is cat. Who slept with King Bond yet? That nigga resting fucking piss, nigga. Fucking dumb, nigga. Cause ain't like that, nigga. How many niggas, niggas dying, nigga? Look, look. Fuck. Me post, yo, yo, look. Let's pour some liquor for King Bond, huh? This shit is crazy, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, drink up, stupid. Yo, King Bond, drink up. Nigga, niggas ain't slap for you yet, nigga. Yo, hold on, hold on. Yo, that day they shot you, I slid on the Mongols. Cat, nigga. Slid where, nigga? You slid to the studio. You booked four hours, nigga. That's where you slid, nigga. If you ask me, y'all, Six Nine's a clown. I mean, you know, that's why that's what he got the hair. I don't know. I know this. This is your boy, Half Bay 100. We here all motherfucking way. I'm a singer turn rapper, nigga. Real life, I be trapping, nigga. Before I lose my life, I rap a nigga. I'll line in chalk, yellow tape on the gas. Yeah. yeah, you niggas ain't really bad. All my niggas, no limit. Yeah, we bout to die. I'ma lay a nigga down if a nigga try.